Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to give you a little more information about our pattern, Pack It In 2.0. This pattern includes instructions for making handy zippered cases in three sizes. Each case has a solid base and a see-through lid, which are connected by a zippered strip which forms the front, back, and sides. You will quilt soft and stable with fabric to make the majority of the parts and use mesh for the window in the lid. Pack It In 2.0 cases are small projects, and each case uses a yard or less of each fabric. So these are perfect for using fabrics from your stash or coordinating prints from your favorite designer. The construction of these cases makes it easy to work with directional fabrics too. The pattern recommends three fabrics for each case. A main fabric used for the exterior, a lining fabric used for the interior, and a coordinating fabric. The coordinating fabric, which is not quilted, is used for the handle, zipper pulls, and bindings. Be sure to coordinate your zipper and mesh, too. Since the pieces needed for these bags are fairly small, they are a perfect project for quilting on domestic machines. If you need more information about quilting, please check out our free patterns, Peacekeeper and Easy Does It. You'll find lots of tips for quilting in the add-on videos for those projects. You will find a full list of supplies on the back cover of the Pack It In 2.0 pattern. If you don't yet have the pattern, you can also find the list on the Pack It In 2.0 product page at byannie.com. Just click on the Supply List tab. There are a number of ways that you can mix and match fabrics to make cases that are uniquely yours and to make best use of supplies you may have on hand. I made this fun set for my daughter-in-law to use when she travels. She loves color and design, so I used a big variety of fabrics from one of our favorite designers to make her set. I also used different colors of coordinating fabric, zippers, and mesh for each. On this set of Pack It In 2.0, we used the same fabrics for all three cases. This enabled us to quilt a larger piece of fabric on the long arm and made cutting extra quick. We could also cut one large square of fabric for the bias binding, resulting in a nice long strip of binding with fewer seams. This will be a perfect set for any quilter who loves CAFE and wants to organize her sewing supplies. Pack It In 2.0 cases are also great for using leftover quilted fabric from other projects. To mix things up and add some interest, you can alternate the main and lining fabrics using the main on the exterior of one bag and the lining for the exterior of another. These cases will fit perfectly into my new travel duffel bag and the handles on top will make it easy to remove them to take out my laptop, Kindle, and toiletries when I go through security at the airport. If you want to vary the fabrics used for the cases you make, you are welcome to do that. Just know that you will have to come up with your own cutting diagrams and you may need different amounts of fabrics than what is called for on the supply list. Because the Pack It In 2.0 cases are fairly small and have relatively few pieces, they make a great afternoon or weekend sewing project. The project involves skills used in many Biani patterns, quilting, binding, and assembling a dimensional bag. To help ensure success, we filmed an add-on video for Pack It In 2.0. Note that if you are working with the original Pack It In pattern instead of the 2.0 version, these videos will help you understand the process for that pattern too. The new pattern has been rearranged, so steps are numbered differently, but the dimensions and procedures are basically the same. The Pack It In 2.0 pattern is fun and easy to make. These handy cases will help you get organized, minimize stress, and streamline packing and unpacking. We can't wait to see what you make and how you use these versatile cases, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube by using at Patterns by Annie. Be sure to enter our monthly photo contest, too. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stitching!